Hello everyone, Test Tube here on Son of Beast, and right now this is our last game for the part of this uh, the day that we are doing here for the Stanley Cup playoffs. For the next part of the games, there will be a lot of a change up in between the range, as we're about to be seeing one of the uh, games that could be happening here between the, the matches. Now it's not really that necessary to try to take over for one of them. And there will be a couple of games here that will be playing in Game 3. As right now the Stars and Avalanche are playing at Dallas at the American Airlines Center. And for the Oilers and the, and the Kings at the Rogers Center. So at this point, it turned out to be very that tough. Very particular in between team matches. Not sure who's it going to be. But it's going to be very that tight to find out who will it be next. And stick around with Game 4, we will have another one that covers you back here for the Maple Leafs and the, and the Bolts back at Amalie Arena. That will be after the, after the other game as the Bruins take on against the Penguins. It is very tight, guys, but to be honest with you, I, I can't help, I can't decide who's going to win, but I can't judge it. <laughs> so, with that, Let's make a decision, let's make that one right. Right now, the next commentary for the last game we will have is Meatphone standing by along with Son of Beast. And a center ice around it we have is Paintbrush. I'll be back with the post-game show to finish the game here. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy the last part of the game of this day for tonight's matchup of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Hello everyone, Beatphone here along with Son of Peace, and this is Game 3 of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Vegas Knights and Kraken are ready for more. Opening face-off here at their new home arena for the first time tonight here for the Krakens and for the second annual here at the new arena. Pockets dropped and we are ready. Delay penalty called on Seattle Crack and they will get a tripping call. The tripping call is not a very good idea to do that one on defenders. They're just trying to like get rid of it and it's too hard to handle. Vince Dunn is in the penalty box. And right now, the penalty and power play coming up for the Vegas Golden Knights. They will get their first look of advantage. Shay Pino has a heat seeker to make that one revenge. He makes his own player with the pass accuracy of motion. He tries to give it off to a one of the man advantage and try to take over for the, for the power play of the goals. I'll be trying to keep an eye here on Shea Theodore going around the corner to make a chance. Guys, back to you. Larson trying to make a stop here on Jones. Theodore recovers the group on offense. Trying to make a smooth play. Stopped by Jones with a quick save. He fires the puck across down the ice, and the other side will be Quick's first score attempt for, the, for game three. Here's Smith. Toward the middle, Stephenson will recover. Trying to bring it back over to Larson. He swings it to Nev. To Nev reaches up here with two soon. I jump back over to Stephenson, back the other way. With 50 seconds left, it's blocked up. Winberg covers the puck down on the other ice. Pretty good on defense, might need to keep on going. Ta-da! Shot blocked! Back again right now is Amadio. Just about 25 seconds to play for the for the Knights power play and the goal. Try to recover the puck to, to Eichel. He's ready to come out of the penalty box. With the look in front, lost the puck. And now it turns over to be Kraken on the other hand. They're very well executed to make a defense and try to pick up their run. It's not very easy to try to like regain your group and try to pick, put it back in the string on offense. It's very difficult to try to keep them right for the middle and do the same thing as they can. They've got a lot of numbers here to try to reach out of them and do it all over again. What a play. With a shot and it's tipped off and shot blocked. Shea Peter with the puck now moving into the offense zone. Trying to move to Stephenson. Without the trick. Stop by Tanet. Stephenson grabs the puck back to Smith. He scores! That's his first goal in game three as Stephenson picks up the assist. They have an early start for the Knights. 
You can tell by when it's going to happen. Stephenson got a good uh, pass over to Bergen. He was able to make that one like, a good move on the tricky zone. It's too close to call for that one because if Smith was making a good zone accuracy, he's trying to keep it over with, with the pass and trying to make a save out of it without being caught. That motion was very hard to pick up in the chain. Everly shot. That goes tipped off again and it's Barbashev with the puck. Try to move over to Arkansas. Move around the wing. Try to deflect one and it's stopped by Jones. Seattle regained their group on the first, first period on offense. The New Yorks back over again to Everly over to Bojo. Bojo to all the side. Back to Everly. Try to give the corner off to McCann. One timer as he almost went tripping and it would not be a tripping call for the Vegas Knights. Yeah, it's very easy, not very good enough to try to keep it over. You gotta keep it going. McCann on the first break. Shot! And stop by Quick. That's going to be another tough run of the matchup. They try to pick up ahead. They're not really gonna try to like go with the uh, with an open floater. They're not really trying to like regain the group. But that is just very that difficult to try to maintain their way and get back to the offense. Donato missed the puck shot with the goal. Borgian swings over to Sashi. Sashi swings back to McCann. McCann went down. Martinez over to Kosar. 13.25 left to go in the first period. It's a 1-0 Vegas. Booger and Jones to make some diving play with the catch. Tunado trying to re recover the puck. Bang two times. Both well, those Knights are getting really on good on offense. Prior to smack them down on defense, they were really trying to like hustle it up. Fires the puck around the board. Wenberg swings over to Bob Shaw. Horse drive. Will stop by quick. Martin does with the puck. Now swings again. Horse shot. Offsides the call for Seattle. 12 18 left to go in the first period. Now the players are ready to take the face off. The score for the Knights have a 1 0 lead to start with the first period. Now Stephenson will win that face off. Cassell right into the middle. Trying to move to Stephenson. Stop over again by Jones. Larson regroups over to Borshad. Try to reach in group. Take the inbound on offense. And Wenberg takes it over. You see what the puck is really doing here because they were taking away from each other. They're not really trying to regain their group on offense. It's not hard what they're going to go for. Had to save A by Quick. Oh, Miss Fires up that one. Done with the puck now. Swings to Larson. Swings over to Wimber. Puck firing the ball around the board over to Tinev. Tinev swings off. Oh, misfired again. It's going too much at the same time. When you're looking at the puck, you've got to look up. Because it's not very easy to try to like regroup the puck and then go right into the offense. It's not very easy to try to try to reforce the group and try to stake it in contact each other. It's very hard to try to look around the offense and try to move ahead. Schultz, and it's blocked up here by McNabb. Steps in right toward the right wing of the offense, well, firing the puck around the board. Now back again is Keepsy. To the firing the puck around the board. Again, Sprunt, move around the middle. That's blocked up by the defender. 9-10 left to go. It's still a one nothing lead. Try to move away from the goaltender. Pass broken up by Everly. Amadio over to Carlson. Carlson trying to make a move, but it's taken away by Schultz. Tunev swings it. Now it's Smith with the puck. Now here's Carlson. Carlson waits for the regroup. Now here's Smith. Takes over Soshi. Now here's Everly with the puck down to the other end. Taking the move around in front. Bang out in trouble. Schultz shoots. Puck save. Now hold the puck here with 7.46 to go in the first period. Got a little tight one inbound. Try to keep it going. 
Now the players are ready to take advantage on offense. Now with the win, here's Portion. Back to Donato. Bad pass broken up the play. Vegas are in the offense zone, taking their own time. Let's stop by Jones, and we'll stop the play with 7.19 to go. Making their way down to the wire, passing the midway period. It's a 1-0 lead for the Knights. Martinez fires across the fleck and in by Gluger. And they've got a goal for their second. Now they have their run, a 2-0 lead. Pretty good easy feed here for Armarnes. He was giving the puck over again to Bluger. Now with that play and this speed between the end, he now has that run and try to maintain his way down to the possible run and try to give up the play. When you see what the player is opening, you have to find the right way to make the motion to go with the offense and defense. It's hard to make that one deflected, but it's not easy to try to regroup the head. Donato. Up in the middle, scores! Donato! It's a fast break goal! They are now on the board. That smoke for Donato, right toward the room, and that slings it in. They now have the board on. Donato! What a celebration to make that one a shock run. You can see what his motion is. He's trying to make a quick strike towards his feet. Not really trying to give it over as Gordy taking over with the assist. But it really has to turn out with him that Donato was able to try to make his, his feet move and try to pick it back the other way. With that in drive, very hard to try to regain the group. I'll be keeping an eye here and see which one of the players can tie and take him over We're right around the goaltender. Guys, back to you. With the call, he have his paintbrush, anybody? Shane Buter, one of the only heat seeker out to take the revenge here on offense. He has his rocket power launch with the with the puck. He can try to put some a little revenge out here and then try to hammer with the puck and then take around the other end. The other end for Shay comes in with a loose under control. I'll be trying to keep an eye here on one of the players if they have their own advantage to try to take them over with the run. Guys, back to you. Now this is the to load over to get into Martinez. Swings to IHL. That's stopped by Dunn. Dunn fires the puck across here to McCann. McCann trying to regroup the puck back over to Larson. Done. Outside. To the slap shot. Deflection went wide off the target. With Angelo right back to IHL. Trying to move over again to Marchesol. Marchesol couldn't make a, make a recovery. He decides to give it off to Everly. Everly moving over to the offense zone to try to pick up the run. McCann trying to go with it now. And Soshi almost went with the, with the offside call, but holds on. Schultz with the puck. Trying to give it off to Eberle. Passing the mid down to under five minutes left to go. Trying to rebound it. Oh, quick with a save. He's really keeping it going out there. For long and possible, it may not be that tough long for quick to try to make a move. Here's Schultz, back over again to Soshi. Takes a firing puck. Rebounded again by Drew Angelo with a pat save made by Quick. Carlson trying to fire its way through. Making the target. Rebound in the front. And stopped again by Jones. He's pretty good to take the target out of him. That stone of it, it's very that tricky to try to maintain their way and try to put it back on offense. It is very that hard. Can't lose your man in focus if you're going to try to stick the right way. Sashi shot. Switch shot here with the main save with 2.25 left to go in the first period. Now the players are set, ready to take the inbound. The Vegas and the Kraken are coming to a close game with 2-1. Now here's Pachangelo. 
covered up. Kesso with the puck. Trying to move along to the offensive side of the run. Hit Jones make a big save. Passing down under two minutes to go in the first period. Torbenen. Right toward the corner of the wall. Gives it off to Borges. Borges make a shot. Trying to deflect with the rebound. Quickly gets stopped. We're holding with just under 90 seconds to go in the first period. Now the plays are coming along here with the first period. They're trying to regain their group. The offense and defense are in a hard and bustling about. They're already done. With a lot of us in standard out there with the moment, they're trying to regain the group. Others are not doing really well, so they're going to have to make new changes and they're going to go for the offense and try to pick up the run. Carrier, right toward the middle of the neutral zone. Kessel with the puck. Passing the mid, passing the one minute mark on the clock. Gives off to Wenberg. Wenberg, fourth shot, over again to Borgia. Borgia with the puck. Trying to move a muscle in front. And stopped again here by Quick. Done. Trying to reach it across again. To Borgshaw. Taken away by Carrier. Theodore. Seven said, going for a deep one, it flings right toward the board. So that ends the first period. A good run for, for Donato. A great power play to make a force drive and go with a 2-1 lead. Vegas are in front. We'll be right back with the second period. Period number two, about to begin. Puck is dropped and we are ready to take on with the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Right out of score is 2-1. The Vegas Knights are still in the lead and trying to regain the momentum. Now here's McCann. Hasn't scored yet for this, for this team. That's right now they're keeping an eye on here with an open man advantage. They're trying to take him over from me again and go from back to the top. Deflection in! Everly shot went in and then deflected. It's now a tie game. What an excellent move, as I really was taking the deflection in there, he was able to pick up him clearly. Now his team is really keeping an eye on it. They're struggling it and trying to put a fight back into it. Everly was able to take that win as a good deflection in there. What a great pass here. As right now, Larson was keeping an eye on him, and after that, it was done. And a good man to look for that one with an open look advantage. With that run, and it's now a tie game. I'll be keeping an eye here on one of the deflection goals for the Kraken and the Knights. Guys, back to you. Here's Barbashev with the puck. Now here's Larson. Larson trying to swing it over, but it's Martinez with the puck. In the wing, Barbashev, shot, and they put back in the lead. It's Martinez with the goal. Right now it's a 3-2 lead. Four down nights. They're going back to back everywhere. They're trying to maintain their way to try to stay out of it. Face off win. Rogangelo with the puck. He fires the puck here across the around the board over again. Now here's Donato. Trying to go around the man. With the advantage. Chill it. Put the fucking in there and it stopped again. Quick still right behind it. Still watching the puck here from outside. Out of the way, barely called for the interference. We will hold a release mid here, and this one will call a slash call. That will be on Riley Smith. Riley Smith is not doing really well. This is a comfortable part of the game. That really has been turned out a very hard disappointment effort. The power play is gone on for the Seattle Kraken. 17 30 left to go in the third, second period of the game. Rejangelo clears the puck out. Now he will hold on to the puck. Trying to carry deep. Schultz. Now swings to Porshaw. Keeps it around the puck over to McCann. McCann swings to Everly. Everly lost the puck. 
tries to go back over to Bushaw. Bushaw swinging it back over again to McCann. McCann swinging it back from the offense to the offside. Trying to move back over to Everly. And they're putting a battle and battle takedown. McCann swings over to Bushaw. There's a shot. Quick save here with the pad. All right, now 16 21 to go in the second period. You're really trying to keep that one in there. Just don't like try to lose the game. You gotta try to stay focused out of it and watch the player like you're looking for. Now with the win. Cordy has to puck your way over to Dunn. Seattle moving in between the offense. But here shot. Trying to rebound the puck. Stays out of the net. 30 seconds left for the Kraken power play. Now here's another advantage here for Tolvanen. Gordy, 15 seconds to go in the Kraken's power play. Takes a shot. That stopped again. Deflected. Oh man, that's a hard one. He's ready to go out of the penalty box. The power play for the Kraken has come up to an end here for the run. As with the good plays advantage, it took over. With another huge hit in a single digit number. Yeah, they're absolutely doing this one here again. They really have nothing to confidence in that one here. They're trying to regain the group. With the offense of the call, they got to get this thing done. Trying to make the move in front. That's something again by Jones. Now Sprunch will swing off to Dunn. Dunn moves around it in. Stop again here by Quick. Off again over to Dunn. Swings again to Borgia. Borgia shot stopped again by Quick. That will stop the play with 14.04 left to play in the second period. They're still trying to gain momentum to take the lead in position. Both teams have Martin Jones and Jonathan Quick. These are the two as we see Quick. He was playing with the LA Kings. But now his moment has come to an end. And now he moves with the Knights. Yeah, for this team he was definitely able to play with the, the right timing of it. He's really well at it. When all that one keeps out, it's going to be a very hard one to try to regain the groove. The offense is nowhere to be near it. But as for long it takes, it will be the next one to make the determination if Jonathan Quick can try to release the puck and try to maintain its way towards its pressure. It may be difficult to maintain the board, but don't be honest, they're going to try to keep it going as they can. Here's McCann. Backhand shot stopped made by Jones. By Quick, I mean. Vegas are playing in their offensive zone. Now he's Everly back the other way. So he's to Veneers. Veneers back to Everly. Everly swings to McCann. McCann shot going over to Veneers. Swings off to Schultz. Schultz to Osayan. Osayan shot. Try to flick one in there. Oh, stayed out of here as Quick was trying to put up the block shot. They try to help the defenders to try to catch them up. They're doing it very as hard as they can. And both shots teams gotta like try to like regain their group to make the offense pay for it. Schultz stopped by Quick. 11.20 left to play in the second period. It's now a 3-2 lead. Here's the puck back the airway to Sosi. Sosi over to Swartz. And Lindbergh with the puck. Now swings to Sashi. Back over again. Bad pass broken up here. Marks himself with the puck here. Now going into the offensive zone. In their territory. Eichel blocked the shot by Schwartz. By Schultz. Lindbergh. Move along the middle. The rebound. Stop by Quick. Mid during the midway period of the second. It's a 3-2 lead for the Vegas Knights. Now the players are ready to take inbound. They will try to de decrease it. They will try to increase the aggressive power play and try to maintain their way. Here's Martinez. Carrier. Takes a little smash here on the board. Now it goes right over to Tillman. Tillman firing the puck over the end to Donato. Trying to reach it to Van Tillman. Tournament the shot, celebrated again here by, by Quick. Moves it back over again to Carey. Carey swings off to Kessel. The Knights are in offense zone. 
Carrier stop the made by Jones. Jones looking it up at, and again, they're really keeping it going. Trying to maintain its way to make the pressure out of it to do the same thing. Everly with the puck. Now with the back end. Yeah. Shot blocked. Sevenson over to carry. 8.30 left to go in the second period of the game. Locked it away. Seattle beginning to group their offense zone. Torwood and trying to battle it, but it's Pachangelo trying to take away from the puck. Now here's Kosar. Kosar. Everly's got it now in the, in the Knights territory. Trying to battle the puck. Pachangelo wins it two times. Kosar trying to make his way down to the cracking zone. Everly. Last broke it up. Trying to move the puck towards it over to Bluger. Bluger toward the middle. They fuck it off again. Out of the shot. Stop made by Jones. Jones really has to keep that one going. They can't lose in focus. They don't want that one to get over it and they, and they try to make a mess out of it. They've got to do the right way. Here the shot and Schwartz back pass broke it up here. Using their angle. Now, in the cracking territory. Making a shot. Down a hold for Jones. Now Schwartz has it again. Now swings over again to the other side. Winberg with the puck. Trying to go with the full sprint. With the move in front. Kicked away by Quick. Now over to Sashi. Five pretty left to go in the second period of the game. To that, trying to face things up here to Borshaw. Over again to Sashi. Sashi swings over to Borshaw. Backhander, stop made by Quick. I uh, know we'll take it over. In between the play, it's not very difficult to maintain. Every time the player comes into you, you gotta make a choice. But whatever, if you're on defense, you gotta stick with your team. It's very difficult to try to keep them over the range and try to take them out as far as they can. Short shot. Yeah, good to watch it here. Not able to pick it up that much. Now here's the net. With the puck. Moving in front of it as part of shot. Now finds over bunch of salt. 350 left to go in that second period. Trying to make his way around the board. Fires the puck across the ice. White Cloud has it recovered here with the Bucks in the Vegas territory. Now into McNabb. Vegas are on the offensive attack. Now gives it back over to Donato. Donato swings over again to Tolman. Whoa! Big battle. Now swings over to Larson. Sweeps the dunk. That shot stopped by Quick. McNabb recovers it as Barbashev has it. Fedor and Tolbinen takes it over. Here's Donato. Finds over again to Gordy. Fedor takes a steal. They're now really trying to pick it up again. They have to do something else to try to like make it stop. McCann lost the puck now but under 90 seconds to approach it. Here's Gordy. McCann. Try to fling, fling the puck again. With the poke check, release me. Here's Fido. Fido swings to McNabb. McNabb in the way. They flick it off wide. Last minute to play in the second period. It is a 3 2 lead for the Vegas Golden Knights. Now, Everly again. Try to take the pass over to McCann. McCann swings over to Borgian. Borgian with the move. Take the shot. Tell the game will not stop. As right now, Quick takes the save. He's really doing it well. Try to keep a focus out of it if you're going to keep your eyes on the puck. If you're not sure what's going on, just freeze it right away. Another face-off win for the Seattle Kraken, and they're trying to go to all side. Try to hit the shot. It's stopped again by... I'm sorry, stop again by Quick. Cross in, just under 10 seconds to play. And Borsat Olsek, Evaneers, 
will clear the puck down. That carries the end of the second period. Three to two, they have the Knights back in the lead. Will the crack and tie it, or will it be down in game three before four? Find out after this. It is the third period, the last part of the period in game three. It has been a very long night, as right now the Knights and the Kraken are very the tough team to try to come stand by in the Pacific Zone. The moment is unbelievable. Yeah, it's unbelievable how it is. Because of that moment, it really has turned out that most of all the players have really got a lot of rehydration. They really need to step it up, and they got to do this the same way, too. Right now, here's Emily back over again with another will take down. Martin has over to Marcus with 1850 left to go. Larson trying to take it back. Benitez over to McCann. McCann's trying to fix it in front of deck. Anderson Eck. Anichel. Right over to Martinez. Chop blocked. Trying to take a fast down of it. And it's going to be a charging call. That will be a rough on the play to make that one a hard one on contact. Yeah, it looks like it's not very easy enough to try to hit someone toward the board. And Adam Larson is definitely out of the game. With the game of the player being out and attended, that one will be a power play goal coming up for the Vegas Knights. Now here's Theodore, which is the eye child shot, stop made by Jones. Now it's Oledek with the puck. Now finds that child. I tell Am Amadio. Amadio swinging it over again to seven cents. Stop again by Jones. Now he swings over again to Zanet. He fires the puck across to Winberg. I tell. Swings it seven cents right over again to Fido over to Amadio. Trying to make a move in front of it, and it's stopped by Jones. Jones really would have seen that one coming. And because of this one, it's really going to keep on happening on what is going on. They've got to get the plan right. Now here's Amadio, stopped by Jones. Trying to put a rebound right by the side of the net. They're trying to keep it staying out with a puck. Fido trying to reach over to Stephenson. With 16.30 to go, here's Vidor. Move around the man's side. That's stop again here with another two-pointer stop. Try to move again to Schwartz. Schwartz, try to single it a bit, did you Matt? Try to move it around the board. Vidor, right over again to Smith. Try to swing it back over again to the other player. The open hand of Aicha was stopped. Aicha has it now over to Amadio. Amadio's seven set, shot, rebound, stop again with Jones. Trying to pick up an inbound here as right now the puck goes out of play. It's easy to like to like leave your puck out of the zone and then try to go face to face with the depth of a danger. They're very not that particularly the same, but it really has to turn things out. Whenever you get this one right, you've got to get this at one focus. It's very hard to try to regain the group and then go back on offense. Seattle with the move. On defense, take out Vegas. Now Seattle's on the move. Trying to go down again. McCann trying to move it across over again to the other player. Smith takes it away. 14-10 left to go in the third period. Try to move around the front, and it's Jones with a stop. 14-3 left to go in the third period. 3-2 is where we stand. Players are set, ready to take an inbound. Right now the Krakens are showing up. There are a lot of mercy and respect, but the Knights are always keeping it flying down and disobeying the rules, so it's a 3-1 game. Cassell to Carson. Tanet with a shot. Swings over to Courier. Carrier right toward the middle. 
to Carl said, it's stopped again by an enemy truck. Try to move in front of it. We'll have to leave it offside with the call. With 1323 left to go. With the power play continues, here's Petrangelo. He's almost ready to go. Petrangelo speeds over to Marcus Hull. Hit off the glove deflector. That will end the play with the Kraken's power play. And it's, it was a great job how they did with a successful one to try to keep it out of range. Yeah, every time you go with that one to go, you got to make sure you have that one focused out. And that's what you need. You got to make that one successful and try to take it over from the deck. Now here's McNabb. McNabb getting a little bump down here with a shot. Trying to move him out. Dunn has it. Now here's Schwartz. Smith with the buck. Now back over to Amadio. Amadio, Borgen has the puck recovered. Swings to Borgen. Gets a little bang down here by the defender. Now here's Schwartz. Schwartz trying to recover it. Bluger up with the now. 12 minutes going by. Jones with a stop. And Borgian has it over again to Borgian. They've got a lot of it to play in this bounding. When they can play this one again, they're going to need to try to fix up from the top. Here's Kulsar. Try to bang it out again. McCann. Right towards the offense. With the shot. Stopped again here by the goaltender. Right now, here's out and back near away. Trying to make a pass right over again to Swartz. Schultz over to Veneers. Veneers trying to look forward freely. Now here's Everly. Everly swings to Sauchi. Sauchi over to Swartz. They get a shot. It's blocked up in front. Pass in the midway period in a third right now. It is a 3-2 lead for the, for the Knights. They're looking for a way to try to tie the game up. If they don't, then well, it's going to be extension now with a 2-1 over the ski resort teams. Schultz with it now, trying to keep their momentum again. That's not by Jones. Now back the airway, here's another one look for over the sponge. Trying to make a diagonal pass over to Kiki. Kiki to Swartz. Offside is whistled with 8.54 left to play in the third period. Now the players are set, ready to take him back and have a face off ready. Now with the win. Passing down to the mid period. Trying to get it over to Kiki. Let's get going. Trying to make a move. Lee Key up over to Tenev. Trying to fire it away. Martinez with the puck. 8-10 to go in the third period. Trying to make a shot. Jones with a stop. Oh, Stephenson made that one a go, but it was stopped again too soon. Nearing closer to the end of the third period, the Islanders keep their possession here with, sorry, the Kraken. They take their possession here with a with a two to three, with two leads in the game in the series. And right now, Tolvainen will help out. Try to pull it up again. Donato in the corner, trying to watch Borgian. Turner shot blocked here by Anderson. Carrier with the puck. Now here's another way to make a transition move. Samuelson blocked the shot. Trying to put a rebound in there and trying to make that one go by. The easier player in mind with the most to drive of it, it's very that hard to try to regain the group. The offense is not picking up the run, but all that happens, it's just going to the same thing it goes. Here's a stop by Ray Jones, and this one goes out to Olsaya. Trying to put a little physical contact here. Now, poor shot, back over to, over to Curry. 
try to make a move, and it's stopped again here. With an hour pad save by Quick. 5.57 left to go in the third period. We'll be coming up here with the face off after this. Here's an R1 for McNabb. Fedor with the puck. Finds over Carlson. Carlson, right to Smith. Smith trying to hold on with the puck. Now here's Borshad. Trying to fire it across over it again to Winberg. Over to Schwartz. And Bordrell with the puck. Try to put it in bound. That's blocked again. Carlson. Wolf shot really keeps it on that one here with a lot of heavy weight. And you know, they're not the only team that can definitely try to lead it over again. It's one of your other teams. Yeah, I understand now. Because at that moment, they got to have to go a lot farther here to go with another open range. So point blank save me here by Jones. 4.18 left to go in the third period. This one will be tremendous on the furious one of the look. The eye setup. The reach out chain might be a little bit trip difficult to try to maintain your way and try to pick up the goal. Now, it's not very that tough to try to rebound it, but it's very that difficult to maintain your way to hit the ball. Players are ready to take him out with the, eye, with the center eyes of the face off. With the win, Marnez. Barasani gets knocked down. Tanev. Trying to regain their offense zone. Try to move the run. But it's Martinez with the stop. And trying to pull the pressure on him. It's easy to try to like try to smack him down it, rather than taking the man over here just like football does. Because you're never going to succeed it well. And you're going to need to try to figure that one on your own. To try to maintain your goal. And a power play coming up for boarding on the call for the interference. This goes to Progenjolo. Now, the Knights are on the power play. With the call, we have this paint press steady by. Vince Dunn really has to take that one with a lot of revenge at this moment. Trying to make the face-off wins, and they are trying to keep that one over again. As of right now, the other hand of this one goes out. Fiala was making a, a lot of great set up of tricky passes. He can try to fix that one up here on offense. But in that moment of cases, he will definitely try to keep it over with the love. I'll be keeping an eye on here for the two players to keep on going down. Guys, back to you. Thank you so much. We have a sports shot. 1.15 left to go in the first third period. And two minutes left to play in the regulation time. Jump blocked. Buck clears out the deck. Trying to regain their group. Sports shot. To McCann. McCann to, to Webnick. Chop, stop play, game by Quick. With now uh, only coming down to 90 seconds to play in the third period. They still better need some love to try to tie this game. They have to do it. And we don't want that to happen because if this goes wrong, well, we're going to have a problem with that. Martinez will try to fling the puck out of here. Try to move it over again. Back to Schwartz. Schwartz. Trying to move it around here. With the attack. Rebound. Trying to make that stop here. And that stop here by Marc-Andre Fleury. With one minute left to play in the third period. And now it comes down here with a 3-2 lead. Yep, they're doing it a lot much thing that they have never done. Yeah, I really understand that one here. That was definitely one of the bestest. Tobinet. And they're about to add the extra man attackers on. Here's Gordy. Cordy with a move! Oh, quick save here. McNabb over to Smith. Trying to play the poke check. That shot goes wide. Links the puck over again to Schwartz. Now back to Dunn. Dunn trying to move it over. With a shot. And stop that camp had save. Now here's Porchet. Dunn over to McCann. 10 seconds to go. Dunn needs to make it quick. Time is running out. McCann, blocked. Recheck it out. Schwartz with a shot. 
Hard out of mark. Oh, it went off target. And it will have to end game number three. The lot of harder ones because of the shot was really too much. They were trying to regain the group and they could have tied it before overtime. The Golden Knights take a lead in this series with 2-1 over the Krakens. Huge disappointing here in Game 3, but that was all it did turn out. Well, as for being said, I'd like to thank you all for watching of the Kraken in Seattle um, and the Golden Knights of Vegas. We'll see you all again next time in Game 4. Now time for three star players in the game, and this was definitely what the game status looks like. Very tough one to try to keep out winning battle. Anyway, thanks for watching and peace out everyone for a while as the as the NHL or the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you all again next time. Now we go again and go to Test Tube for closing the three star plays of the game. Test Tube all yours. Alright there me fun, thank you very much. And right now this has been the last part of the game here in game number three before last two games as you got the Avs and the other team of the stars at American Airlines Center and following along with the Oilers and the Kings at Rogers Place. Right now here are the three star players of the game as I get started right now. Now, here's the first star we're going to give it off to. This one, the first star goes off to Martin Jones with 30, 42 saves. Really turned out just like that. Number two, we have is Alex Martinez. Goal assistant hit. All for one. Really did turn out like he was trying to mess up the goalie instead. And your number one of the game. This one goes out to Jonathan Quick. 41 saves, point nine fifty-three percentage of his saving ability. Well, I guess that has to do it for now. I'd like to thank you for watching. And peace out everyone for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. And now... Let's get this thing buckled up and ready to go. Well, as we're being said right now, <laughs> we're all done. Thank you, everyone, and have a great night. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the Stanley Cup playoffs on NHL 23 of the EA Sports style. You'll see more two more games next time when we meet again. Until next time, folks, take care. And good night in Seattle and Vegas of the Knights. If you don't... Somebody will.